It is Milne. Pace and not carrying through. It's more the bottom edge of the bat. 140.8 to begin with. Looked a form player actually on this tour and he hasn't really contributed with a very big score then to Simmons, but every time he's come to the crease he's looked in the nick. He's under the back pad. 146.9, that's getting up there. That's exactly what McCullum wants. At 147, we're risking it. That little touch there, Milne does the job. He picks up the scalp of Lendl Simmons, the youngster. What a smile, what a start. 149.9. Fantastic bowling out of Mill. Lendl Simmons had decided he was just going to swing for the fences from ball one. Well deserved for Adam Mill. Certainly a lot of talent, a lot of skill as Lendl Simmons departs for zero. Going to play here. Right on the money. It's a really good start this from Mill. One run, one wicket, 150, 12 for one. Brilliant. Get up. 150. That's quick. Here he goes. Bustling in. Another dot. Gold. Yeah, well, I've got a, a third man. It's slightly squarer because of the dimensions of the ground, but not that square, and a deep square leg. The chance here. Daniel McCullum. Not able to pick it up and fire as quickly as he wanted to. Get a roll on. Awkward. Very, very quick. And past the back of the head there of Andre Fletcher. That made pace off the pitch. He was really in trouble. Wallison. Couple. That side of his game, unbelievably well. Good over again from Milne. Another cheap one, 29 for one. Points of view on Adam Milne. Here's Simon Dool and Ian Bishop. Thanks, Billy. Well, I like the fact that he's uh, getting a third over as well. He's got some confidence up. Bowling with some decent pace. There's so much to like about this young kid. It's likely to get that if it's pitched that short to the left-hander, unless it comes back significantly more than likely to pitch outside leg stump. But he's got a nice sprint to the crease. Adam Mill uses a lot of momentum to get through that delivery stride at the crease. And it's a nice whippy arm. There isn't much to him. And when I say there isn't much to him, he's a slim guy. He's a whippet. Tell you what, there's a lot more to him now than there was a year and a half ago. He's actually, he has filled out a little bit. He was stick thin. Thank goodness for that then, because I'm looking at him now and he could run through the little spout in the shower without getting wet. outside leg but he definitely has that fast twitch fiber because he's not a big barrel chested guy a lot of energy at the crease dragging that right hand past his left hip but it's the pace of his run up that is impressive first of all consumes a lot of energy but he's a sprinter he's a sprinter to the crease and then he winds he gathers himself and with a quick whippy arm Gets everything going towards the target. The head just off kilter a little bit sometimes, but that's the effort. And also that 
braced front leg. 153.2. That one. 153. Good heat. We'll look at the front leg when it comes down the knee. There, it's tall, it's upright, he's bowling from over the top, so he's six foot tall, he's going to get a little bit of bounce as well. Oh, confusion, hits it out, oh, he misses. Jesse Ryder, I think it might have been, with a direct hit, would have had him gone. Six gone, 39 for two. But this fellow has been most impressive, bowling with that new ball. Yes, he, he does that job, and we talked about what Tino Bess, theoretically, they're asking, the West, West Indies are asking him to bring to their T20 line up the pace. But when he gets it right, can win you a match. Yeah. And from the West Indies point of view, just to answer your question, I think they'll be hugely buoyed, and they were buoyed by that win in the last ODI. Coach, full of hierarchy, this has been outstanding economical it's been accurate and it's uh, really upset the West Indies batting plan right from the outset because instead of trying to play cricket shots off him they tried to hit him they tried to go at him and he was too good for them so to get through four overs and go for under 20 and bowl at 150 plus at certain stages stand out too quick that was just on the pay under the bat before you could get half a swing in really promising start for Milne in this series they love it uh, 94 for 8